Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Dark Head family. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father God, we love you. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Father God, for your healing power. We thank you, Father, for your miracle working power. We thank you, Lord, that you are our healer. We thank you, Lord, that you are our Father. And you love us, Lord. You love me and my sisters, Lord, so much. Thank you, Father God. You are faithful. You are true. You are good. And you want to be good to us. You say you long to be good to us. You long to be gracious to us. That's what your words say, Father. We thank you for your graciousness. We thank you, Father God. According to your word in Psalms 103, Father, you forgive all of our iniquities. You heal all our dis-ease. Thank you, Lord. You crown us with loving kindness and tender mercies. You satisfy our mouths with good things. Our youth is renewed like the eagles, Father. Thank you, Lord. You redeem our life from destruction. Thank you, Lord. You execute righteousness and justice for your people, Father. You are a faithful, Father. You are true. And we thank you, Lord God, for showing your muscle today, showing yourself strong today, showing yourself to be good today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You're looking to and fro. Thank you, Father God. You found us, Lord. You found this moment right here. You found us right here. And you will flex your muscle and you will show your mighty hand today. In the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord, and we trust you today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. My sisters, I felt led to get on here while I was sleeping. I heard in my sleep, right when I, when I was about to wake up, I heard in my sleep, Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Verses 1 through verse 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed and qualified me. Reading the Amplified Bible. The Lord has anointed and qualified me to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek, the poor, and afflicted. He has sent me to bind up and heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the physical and spiritual captives, and the opening of the prison and of the eyes to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the year of his favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant consolation and joy to those who mourn in Zion, to give them an ornament, a garland, or a diadem of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, the garment expressive of praise instead of a heavy burden and failing spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, lofty, strong, and magnificent, distinguished for uprightness, justice, and right standing with God, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. That was Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 through 3. That was the Amplified Bible. He says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed and qualified me to preach the gospel of good tidings to the meek, the poor, and afflicted. He has sent me to bind up and heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the physical and spiritual captives and the opening of the prison and of the eyes to those who are bound. Praise God. Hallelujah. God wants to be glorified today. The Lord wants to heal today. The Lord wants to perform miracles today. He woke me up. He said, I want to heal somebody. I want to heal. And I jumped up. I said, baby, the Lord wants me to pray for my Dot K family. Are you okay with that? He said, all right, go ahead. And I told him, I said, please, when the babies wake up, just keep them upstairs. Because the Lord wants me to pray. 
for his daughters. Glory to God. And so the Lord woke me up this morning. My husband, he's holding down the fort upstairs. <laughs> and uh, he wants me to pray. He told me that uh, somebody needs healing. Somebody needs healing. And it's a, it's a kind of healing. You ever got a paper cut? And what happens when you get a paper cut? That paper cut hurts. It's small, right? It's small, but it hurts. And you're like, oh man, that hurt. And it's the smallest thing and you're wondering why it hurts so much. And to everybody else, that hurt you? That sent you into depression? That, that did that to you? Why did that do it? That's so small. And you can't explain it. And it seems small to everybody, but it hurts, right? And God says he wants to heal you today. He wants to heal your heart. He wants to bind it up. He wants to mend it and knit it up. He wants to knit it up. God cares about that small paper cut that seems small to everybody, but it's hurting you. He cares about you. He cares so much that he woke me up this morning to pray for you. Praise God. He loves you. He says in Genesis chapter 1, it says, the spirit, it says darkness covered the earth. In Genesis chapter 1, verses 2 through verse 4, I read it to you. The earth was without form and, and empty, and it was a waste, and darkness was upon the face of the very great deep. The Spirit of God was moving, hovering, brooding over the face of the waters. <laughs> and God said, and God said, and God said, and God said, the Spirit of God was moving. It was, there was darkness, the Spirit of God was moving, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. Hallelujah. There was darkness. The Spirit of God was moving, hovering. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. He tells us in, in Psalms 107.20, He sends forth His word and heals them. And rescues them from their pit and destruction. Psalms 120, Psalms 107 verse 20. Psalms 107 verse 20. He sends forth his word and heals them. He sends forth his word and heals them. God sends forth his word. Hear this right here, okay? In your spirit, man. Hear this in your belly. Receive this in here. Praise God. He sends forth his word and heals them. And delivers them, rescues them from their pit and their destruction. And so no matter how dark the situation is, God's spirit is moving and God is speaking. Speaking. He is sending forth his word and he is healing you. He's healing your broken heart. He's healing your broken mind. He's healing your broken life. He is rescuing you. He is delivering you from that pit. He is picking you up, placing you on a firm foundation in Christ. God sends his word and he heals you. Praise the Lord. His word does the work. His anointing does the work. He's healing things doctors don't know how to heal. He's healing minds that psychiatrists and psych psychologists and therapists don't know how to heal. He's healing broken hearts today. Praise the Lord. He's doing what doctors cannot do. He is your great physician and he cares for you. He's not just able to heal you. He wants to heal you. Healing is your bread, God says. You will eat of it every day of your life. You will consume it and be satisfied with it, God says. 
it is his will that you be healed, whole, complete, delivered, walking in his purpose, walking in his plan, in full health. It is his will that he restores health to your body, health to your mind. He's not just trying to get you back to a place you used to be. He wants to renew your youth like the eagles. He wants to satisfy you with his goodness, make you strong and spry. He wants to make you vibrant and thriving better than you were before. He wants to restore you to where you're better than you were. Glory to God. He sent his word. He sent his word. When his spirit is moving, he will speak and you will be healed. You will be healed. Glory to God. You will be healed, God says. The Lord wants to heal you today. It's not me. I'm a vessel of the Lord. I'm yielded to him. He wants to heal through me today by his spirit, by his power. And so whatever area is broken, whether it's your heart, your mind, your physical body, whatever area where, there's, where you're experiencing effects of the curse. You're redeemed from the curse, but you're experiencing effects of the curse. God says, I want to heal that. There is no sickness or disease in his kingdom. There is no sickness or disease where he lives. And you live in his kingdom. You are a citizen there. And there, and sickness is trespassing in your body. It's trespassing. It's there without permission. And it has to leave today. Infirmity has to leave today. Any oppression has to leave today. Any darkness has to leave today. When God said, let there be light, there was light. He saw it and said, that's good. Hallelujah. God is not a novice. He's not a newbie. He's not an amateur at healing. He spoke and said, let there be light. There was light. He took a dark situation, flooded it with light. Hallelujah. He's been doing this since the beginning. He's been speaking and changing situations. He's been completely interrupting the natural order of things since the beginning of time. And your healing is no different. Your body is no different. Your marriage is no different. Your parents is no different. Your family is no different. Your children are no different. God is going to speak and bring healing. Supernatural healing. Miraculous healing. Transformative healing. He's bringing peace to your whole situation. Your body is going to operate right. Your mind is going to operate right. Your heart is going to operate right. Your legs are going to operate right. Your feet are going to operate right. Your hands are going to operate right. Every single part of your being is going to operate in the way that God's fashioned it and ordained it to operate in the name of Jesus. So you lift all of that up to him. You give it all up to him and you reach out in this moment right here and you and you lift that up to the Lord. And you say, Lord, I receive by faith your healing power in my body. I receive by faith your healing power. I lay hold of that redemptive right that I have for healing. I lay hold of that right now by faith. I reach out right now by faith. You have spoken it and I receive it by faith right now in the name of Jesus. Energize my body, Father. Touch my body, Lord. Touch my mind, Lord. Touch any broken place in my life, Lord. Restore it to full of health, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I reach out and I receive it by faith. Hallelujah, I receive it by faith. You've already spoken it. Jesus was the word sent into the world. He was the word sent into the earth. He was the word made flesh. He already sent his word and healed you. He already healed you. So what is this sickness that I'm experiencing is there but without permission. It's a lying wonder. It's a lying spirit. You are the healed. You are the whole. You are the complete in God. Hallelujah. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You've been translated out of the kingdom of darkness and placed into the kingdom of God's dear son where healing is your bread. 
It's your bread. It's your bread. Hallelujah. Jesus' body was broken for you. Hallelujah. Healing is your bread. Hallelujah. So you reach out by faith. And you receive what God has provided for you. You are his child. And he cares about you. He's removing all symptoms of sickness and disease from your body. He's removing all confusion from your mind. He's removing all oppression of the enemy. He's removing all darkness. Hallelujah. He's flooding your life with power. He's flooding your life with, with power. He's flooding your life with light. You will not walk in darkness. You are a child of light. He is flooding your life with light. He is flooding every part, going into every single part of your life, filling it with his light. Filling it with his love. Filling your entire being. Flooding you completely. Hallelujah. Not just with a knowledge of him, but with an experience of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So you reach out by faith. Hallelujah. Touch that broken part of your body. Touch that part that needs healing. Whatever part that's aching, you touch that part. And you lay hands on yourself. Hallelujah. You receive by faith. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for every single sister on here that has their hand on any broken part that needs to be healed. I pray in the name of Jesus. In the authority of Jesus, not my own authority, in the authority of Christ. You woke me up this morning to pray. You say you want to heal, so Lord, we trust you to heal in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, Father God, for ministering healing to their broken bodies, those broken body parts, those aching body parts, those parts that the enemy has said will never work again, will never function again. We rebuke the devil right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of infirmity right now that's been operating and trespassing in their lives. We rebuke them now in Jesus' name. Command them to go in Jesus name we thank you Lord God you flood their lives Lord God with your healing power flood their body with your healing power flood their mind with your healing power in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord God according to your word Jeremiah 33 says you restore them to full health hallelujah you heal all their wounds Lord God in the name of Jesus big wounds small paper cut size wounds we thank you Lord you restore them to full health Lord you are you you are their healer, Lord God, and you love them, Lord God. You're no respect to a person's father. We thank you for ministering health. We thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus, and to, re to receive stripes on his back so that they can be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. You sent your word according to Psalms 107, verse 20. You sent your word and you healed them, Lord God. And you rescue them. You deliver them, Lord God, from the pit. You deliver them from any destruction in the name of Jesus. You redeem their lives, Lord God, from the path of destruction. Thank you, Lord. You get them off that destructive path of sickness and disease and death. They're not headed there. Thank you, Lord God. You say the path of the just gets brighter and brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. They don't have no dark path. They have a path full of light, full of health, full of joy, full of peace. Full of praise, full of your glory, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for redeeming them. Glory to God, from any slippery slope, any pit. In the name of Jesus, that they have not been able to get out of in their own power. Any move causes them to fall, even, fall down even more. You redeem them from the pit. You are their rescuer. You are their salvation. You are their deliverer. They can't deliver themselves. You got to do it. And we thank you, Lord, you're delivering them today. Hallelujah. They can't heal themselves. You got to do it. And we thank you, Lord, for healing them today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for moving by your spirit, moving by your power, moving by your love, moving by your gentle concern. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Their bodies will be full of strength. I speak strength over their bodies, strength over their minds. Strengthen my sisters according to your word. Strengthen my brothers according to your word. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Command your blessing. Lord, command your peace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence every accusing spirit. Silence every voice of the enemy. Father, amplify your voice in their heart, in their spirit, in their mind. Let your voice be turned all the way up. Full blast. Voice of your word. Voice of victory. Voice of your truth. Let your word be turned all the way up. Your voice all the way amplified. In the name of Jesus, declaring who they are, where they are. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. They're in the palm of your hand. Nobody can pluck them out. They're hidden under the shadow of your wing. Your feathers cover them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the comfort of your Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, you are our comforter. Holy Spirit, you are our helper, our intercessor, our strengthener, our standby. And I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will be in their lives who you are in the name of Jesus. Be their comforter. Be their helper. Be their intercessor. Be their advocate. Be their strengthener. Be their standby. In the name of Jesus. And they let you be who you are. In the name of Jesus. They receive your comfort. I pray my sisters receive your help. They receive your, your prayers of intercession. They receive you advocating for them. They receive your strength. They receive your you, you being their standby. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. They don't yield to any spirit of infirmity. They do not take it upon themselves to call that, that sickness and that spirit their own. That is not their cancer. That is not their disease. That is not their diabetes. They will not own that in the name of Jesus. They will own healing. They will say, my healing, my healing, my healing. Whether healing manifests instantly or whether it manifests over time, they will own your healing. That you have a portion for them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I come against any spirit that causes them to say, I don't want to be healed because I will lose my coverage and my benefits and whatever the world has set up in this worldly system i rebuke that spirit of fear it causes them to operate in fear of you of their needs not being met thank you lord in the name of jesus you will minister health to their bodies and health to their finances in the name of jesus you are their provider you're jehovah jireh and you supply all their needs according to your riches and glory by, by, by faith in christ jesus thank you lord in jesus name you will you are their source you are their exceeding great reward and you will minister help to their entire being that includes their finances in Jesus name I speak health over finances finances be healed you say you bless the small and great those that fear you father and you increase us more and more us and our children thank you for increasing them Lord Financially, Lord, in the name of Jesus, they have no reason to fear. They receive healing all around 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are their source. And you will take care of them. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Some people don't want to lose their disability. Some people don't want to lose their disability. Older people are scared. Our older, our, our elderly are scared. They don't know how the world is going. They don't know what to do. And they don't want to lose their disability. They don't, they don't know if they want to be healed because they're afraid. But I speak to you right now, Mama. I speak to you right now by the Spirit of God. You have no reason to fear. God is with you, and He is your source, and He's going to make sure all of your needs are met. I know these times are concerning times, but you give all of your cares to the Lord, and you trust Him like you've already been doing. You've been trusting God all these years. Mama, you keep on trusting Him. That He wants you to enjoy His healing. He wants you to be sickness-free, pain-free. You ain't got to put up with that just so you can receive a check every month. You ain't got to put up with that. You don't have, that's not your portion. God didn't call you to, to walk that way and to live that way. That's not the abundant life that God promised you. In Jesus, you have, you have quality of life. And he wants, to, he wants to give you a quality life. Where you're healed and you're provided for. You're healed and you're taken care of. You're healed and you got more than enough to bless yourself and bless your babies, your grandbabies, your children, everybody. He wants to bless you and make you a blessing. He wants to bless your latter years. And so don't lean to your own understanding about this thing. You receive everything that Jesus paid for. You receive that healing, okay? And you receive that provision by faith. And you know that you're God's child. And no matter how old you are, no matter your, no matter your age in natural years, you are his baby girl. And God has healing a portion for you. He wants you to be healed, delivered, free, provided for. Praise God. And when it's your time to go, you're going to leave here peacefully. It's going to be a peaceful transition. He wants to bless you with life as he has it. He wants to bless you with life as he has it. A life of honor. Not wrapped with pain. Not a life where you got a whole bag full of medicine. No, that's not the life he called you to live. You're going to continue to go from faith to faith to faith, from glory to glory to glory, until you enter into eternal glory. And you're going to experience heaven on earth before you even get there. You're going to experience heaven on earth. And I need you to receive this by faith, mama, whether you're a grandmama, Great grandmama, receive this by faith. God loves you. He cares for you. And you give all those concerns to the Lord. Concerns about your family, concerns about your grandbabies. You give all that to the Lord. And you say, Lord, I receive the life that Jesus paid for me to have. I receive that life by faith. Quality life. Blessed life. Full life. He wants to make you full of years, but you can't enjoy your life. You can't even enjoy that retirement. You can't enjoy that new car. You can't enjoy that anything if you're wrecked with pain. You can't enjoy life if you're in pain. And so you, you receive God's healing by faith. God is touching you now. He's healing you now. He's blessing you now. He's breathing on you. In the name of Jesus. He's breathing on you. Jesus paid all that for you. You don't have to deal with that. You've been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. You've been purchased and bought with a great price so you can live life 
quality life, full of years. Every person that you look at in the Old Testament who walked with God, the Bible says that they died full of years. The word full means satiated. Satiated. You ever been satiated before? That means you're thirsty and you're like, oh, that water was good. That was good to my soul. God wants to make you full of years, mama. Satiate you with a good life. Praise God. Glory to God. You give him all your worries. Give him all your cares. And you watch him bless you. You trust God the way you've been doing all these years. I'm just change up now. No, you know, you know to trust God. You keep on trusting God. Praise the Lord. God's going to bless you and make you a blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. We got some young people on here that's afraid of, of God blessing them too much or they're going to lose their, they're going to lose their benefits. They're going to lose welfare or whatever you've been depending on. Whatever you've been depending on, you don't want God to heal you because I don't want to lose that disability check. That's not you. That's fear talking. And I rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. The just shall live by faith. That's how we live. Any other life outside of faith is in disobedience. It's in disobedience. It's a carnal mind. Carnal, fleshly mind. Worldly mind. We are people of faith. And we live in a new kingdom. Operating by new kingdom laws and principles. Governed by a king who cares about every single detail of our lives. We are in this world, but we're not of this world. We're just pilgrims passing through, and we don't need this earthly system for nothing. Our God provides all of our needs abundantly, and beside, we live by faith in His truth, in His character, faith in His power, faith in His promise, faith in all that God is. That's how we live. In Him we live, move, have our being. In Him, we're in this world, but we're not of this world. We have a different kingdom, a different world. And He takes care of us. And He does more for us than this worldly system could ever do. Glory to God. This worldly system making all it pay you so much, but God can double. He can triple your salary. He can triple your income. We live according to his world, his system, his rules, his laws. Praise God. And in his kingdom, there's health. There's wealth. There's peace. There's joy. He said, my kingdom is not meat and drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. He says, when the wicked are in authority over your life, you will mourn. But when the righteous are in authority, the people what? The people rejoice. You know who's in authority in your life. You know who are in authority by how you are. Are you mourning or are you rejoicing? The wicked are in authority when you're mourning. You're mourning. You're operating according to that worldly system. You're mourning. The wicked are in authority. You need to let God be in authority over your life. Submit to his laws. Submit to his ways. Let him govern you. Let him rule. Let him reign. You will rejoice. You will rejoice, God says. You will rejoice. There's a new sheriff in town. 
His name is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You let him up, let him rule and reign in your life, and you will spend your days rejoicing. Ain't gotta deal with that. Ain't gotta deal with that. Ain't gotta deal with that. I'm in a new kingdom. God is an authority on my life. Yahweh is an authority in my life. Hallelujah. He's an authority. And I rejoice. Ha, I rejoice. Hallelujah. He takes care of me. He watches over me tenderly. He guides me. He leads me. He blesses me. He comforts me. He encourages me. He fills me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He prepares me for what's ahead. He shows me things to come. He increases me more and more, me and my children. Hallelujah. He provides supernaturally for me and my children and my family. He does more than any worldly system could ever do. God puts this system to shame, just to complete shame. Hallelujah. My dependence is on the Lord. He is my righteousness. He is my Lord. He is my king. He's an authority in my life. He rules and reigns. He calls the shots. He tells me to get up, I get up. He tells me to speak, I speak. He tells me to go here, I go there. He tells me what to do and I do it. He is an authority and I rejoice. I rejoice. I rejoice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who is in authority in your life? Who have you yielded to? Who have you submitted yourself to? Who have you said, you're my God? Is it mammon? Is it a spirit of infirmity? Is it a sickness so that you can receive a check? What spirit have you allowed to be in authority in your life? You let anything other than God be an authority and you will mourn every day of your life. Every day of your life. When the righteous are in authority, the people shall rejoice. You let God be an authority. Let him be on the throne. Let him be in authority to where he calls the shots. He rules. He reigns. He dictates everything. You're submitted to him. You're yielded to him. No other spirit are you yielded to. No other spirit. Satan is a harsh taskmaster. He will drive you and drive you and drive you till you die. It's the path of the just, the path of the righteous. That's the path that gets brighter and brighter and brighter because the just live by faith. Faith in what? Faith in who? Faith in God. Faith in God, faith in the power of God, the salvation of God, the truth of God, the righteousness of God, the character of God, the nature of God, the promises of God. That's how they live. And because they just live that way, they spend their days rejoicing. We live by our faith. In God, our trust, in his goodness, in his love for us, in his character, in his way of doing things. We live by faith. That means we yield and we submit to his authority. It's his way or no way. If he don't work it out, it won't be worked out because we're not doing another way. If he don't do it, there is no other way. Because we're not choosing another way. There's no other option. 
He's God and there's none else. There are no other options. That's a life of faith. There are no other options. God, you got to do it. I'm not looking nowhere else. There's no other option for me. I'm not trying you. To see if you will work. I'm coming to you because you're the only one that can do it. That's right. No other help I know. No other salvation I know. Lord, if you don't touch my body, if you don't heal me, I'm not going nowhere else. There's no other faith. There's no other religion. There's nothing else I'm trying. I'm not trying this witch doctor. I'm not going over here. Lord, if you don't heal me, if you don't help me, if you don't rescue me, if you don't deliver me, it can't be done. You are my only hope. You are my only hope. That's faith. That's faith. You are my only hope. And you submit to him. Live a life submitted to his authority. Doing what he tells you to do. Going where he tells you to go. Praise the Lord. And if you can't hear his audible voice right now, you follow this. He gave you Sisyphus' books of instructions. Sisyphus' books right here. He'll lead you by the voice of his word. And any, any, anything that Holy Spirit tells you will agree with his word. It will line up with this right here. And so we submit to the voice of God. We submit to the spirit of God. We submit to the truth of God's word. Whatever the word says, that's what we believe. That's what we submit to. It's not his word and then my word. No, it's his word or no word. His word or no word. This is the bottom line. And we yield to this. We submit to this. This is our faith. This is what gives us the victory. This right here. Submitting to God's word gives us victory. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how we live. That's how we live. Father, we thank you for this blessed time. We thank you, Lord, for this Holy Ghost time. You're wanting to be glorified. And we step ourselves off of your throne. We get our butts off of your throne and we let you sit where you need to sit. We let you sit on the throne of our hearts. Father, you call the shots in my sister's life. You call the shots, Lord God. They're off the throne and you're seated there. On the throne of their hearts, on the throne of their lives, you rule, you reign. You are righteous. And when you are in authority, they will rejoice. When you're governing their lives and their decisions and what they're doing, when you're governing everything and they're letting you govern them, they will rejoice. They will praise you and rejoice all their days. So I pray for a yieldingness to you. I pray for a submissive spirit in the name of Jesus to everything that concerns you. In Jesus' name, I pray they let you be in authority. I pray they let you be Lord of their lives. Every area of their lives is given over to you. Rule and reign. Reign over their bodies. Reign over their health. Reign over their finances. Reign over their marriage. Reign over their family. Reign over their plans. Any plans that they have, Lord God, we pray that they commit those plans to you and trust you. Trust that you will do what you want to do in your perfect timing, in your perfect way. They yield their entire lives over to you for you to rule and reign over their entire lives in Jesus' name. You are righteous, Father, and I pray that you will be in authority over my sister's life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And anyone on here that don't know you, Father, that wants to surrender their lives to you, we pray. I pray, Father God, that they will do just that in Jesus' name. 
If anybody's watching and you don't know the Lord, you want to surrender your life to the Lord and you, and you want to do that now, just say this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe that you came, you died, you rose from the dead, you're alive today. Come into my heart, save me now. I repent of all sin. And I receive your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Be my Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Father God, we pray over every person that said their prayer for the first time. We pray, Lord, we rejoice with them. You say that all of heaven is rejoicing with them right now. We pray over them, Lord God, that you will bless their new life in you. We pray that you will grow them up in their faith. We pray that you will lead them to the right church that will, that will nurture their, their faith in you, that will teach them your word in a way that they can understand it, that will be a family for them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for surrounding them with your Holy Spirit. We pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to lead them into all truth, show them things to come. We pray, Father God, that you will bless them, Lord God, to see what you wanted them to see in your word. Open their eyes to see and behold beautiful and wonderful things in your word, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come against any demonic spirit that will try to cause them to think that what they said wasn't real, this prayer wasn't real. We come against every spirit from Satan in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you now in Jesus' name. We pray, Father God, that they are guarded, they're protected. They're surrounded by you, Father. In Jesus' name, angels, go forth. Minister strength to their faith. Minister strength to their spirit, man. Help them grow in their knowledge of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. If you said that prayer for the first time, just make sure you let us know. We want to get some materials in your hands. We want to get some materials in your hands. It's going to help you in your faith. Praise the Lord. We rejoice with you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. My sisters, I'm out of time. I'm, 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 having, I'm, I'm going to go and tend to my family. But I love you so much. God loves you more. I pray God's blessings all over you. All over you. I pray you are overtaken with the blessings of God, the favor of God, the peace of God. In the name of Jesus. Mwah! Love you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord.